Hi, I'm Jamie, Fort Vancouver Library's Experiential Learning Librarian. Today I'm going to show you a maker project about stop motion. Stop motion is a really fun animation style. Gumby and Wallace and Gromit are a couple of examples that use stop motion animation. The object of stop motion is to take a lot of pictures in succession, so a lot of pictures of a slow process, and then you speed up those pictures and it makes a moving image. It's super fun and it takes a lot of skill to master, so it's something you can practice at, which is awesome. Today I'm using a free app called Stop Motion. It's available in the App Store for phones, tablets, all kinds of things. So today I'm going to be working with just a piece of paper taped to a wall, and I'm going to use my smartphone with the Stop Motion Studio app on it. I'm gonna open it here, then it's going to load, and then I'm going to tap in the upper left to start a new project. So Stop Motion Studio has a lot of really great features on the free version, which is awesome. I'm just going to set up my phone so it gets a good picture of the paper. And I'm going to try really hard once everything's in place to not move it. So I don't want the paper to move, which is why it's taped to the wall. And I don't want my camera to move. I have a fancy little tripod, but if you don't have a tripod, I've also just stacked my phone on some books or propped it up against something. So we're going to get started here. I hit the little camera button and then I'm going to start taking pictures. So I took a picture of just the blank piece of paper because that's what we're starting with. And I've decided I'm going to draw a little nature scene. So I've drawn a little bit of a sun there. I'm going to take a picture of it. And then I'm going to add some more to my sun and I'm going to take another picture of it. And this is going to keep going for as long as I want my drawing and my stop motion to be. I notice when I draw up a little higher that it's not caught in the camera frame. So I know I need to stay a little bit below that top of the sun there. So I'm going to draw in some more sun rays. And then I'm going to switch markers and I'm going to add in a little cloud. And I start this first cloud, but then I realize it's out of the frame. So I go back in and I start a cloud a little bit lower and then I make sure to get a picture of it. So I'm going to continue doing this, just taking photos every couple of lines I draw. So I draw a small line, take a picture, draw a line, take a picture, and continue until I've completed my image. All in all, I end up taking about 92 photos for this picture. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit for the rest of these photos, but just know it took me about 30 minutes to make a short video. completed my picture and I've scrolled back through all the images in Stop Motion Studio and I'm going to play it forward just so I can kind of see what the progression looks like. And this is probably the most fun part of Stop Motion to see all that work come together into a cohesive piece. Stop Motion Studio also allows you to export your videos so I've included my completed masterpiece here. Enjoy! There you go. Those are the basics of stop motion animation. I also have this bonus beautiful picture which I will mail to one of my relatives. You can also do stop motion with toys or 
household goods, the slower you move your pieces and the more pictures you take, the more fluid the image is going to be. So have fun, keep making, and we hope to see you at the library real soon. Until then, the library's website has lots of great resources. Go to www.fvrl.org. Bye!